Hello guys welcome you all to this new video. Today we will simplify the concepts of database and DBMS. So let's start the video. Database is about data. So before we see what database is, we will see what is data. Data is simply information about something like for example your name, your age, your height, your weight, mobile number, etc. So basically this is information about you. That means this is data about you. Let us consider another example, say mobile, so company who built the mobile, price of the mobile, mobile model name, information about storage, battery backup, processor, etc. So this all is the data about the mobile. Data can be in many formats, like numbers, texts, pictures, audio, video, etc. So now we will see what is a database. The definition states that, database is a collection of related data, stored electronically, in a systematic manner. So let's simplify the definition. It is a collection of related data. That means if we consider a college, there will be data of courses, teachers, students, etc. which will be related to each other. There will be a particular teacher teaching a particular course to students. There will be students taking different course. So to make a database of a college we need to collect all the data about courses, teachers, students, etc. which will be interrelated with each other. Stored electronically in computer system. This means data is stored in computer system in electronic manner. It is stored in data servers. For example, before we had to fill a paper form and submit it by going to the college. Nowadays you need to fill an online form to apply in a college, that means your data filled in online form is stored electronically in college database. In a systematic manner. In database data is stored, or arranged in systematic manner. Data is stored in tables, in row and column format. Data is not stored anyhow. Let us see one example of database. So in this example we have considered a small database of a company. There are two tables present in it one is department table and another one is an employee table. These are the attributes of the table. For example if we make a table of students then, roll number, name, class, division will be its attributes. These are the rows of table. Each row is one individual record. These are the columns of the table. One individual record in table is also called as tuple. Now we will see what is DBMS. DBMS is database management system. So basically it is a system used to manage the database. We users interact with the database with DBMS. When you have a database you need to manage it, like you need to insert data, update the existing data, delete unwanted data, you need to make sure who has access to the data. This is all done by using the DBMS that is database management system. Control access. With DBMS we can decide who can access the data and how much of data can someone access. For example if there is a college database, then each student must have access to only his or her own data. On other hand teacher can have access to all students data. This can be managed through DBMS. Manipulate data. If we want to insert new data, or update existing data, or delete unwanted data, or any other operation on the database, we can perform using DBMS. Representation of data. The data stored in the database is very well defined using DBMS. So we saw what is database and database management system in this video. If you have any queries or suggestions comment below.